Hey, welcome back everybody. So let's talk about some useful string properties and methods. I have a variable username and assign this whatever your first and last name is. If we type this variable and add a dot, we have access to a bunch of different properties and methods of this string. One of which is the length property. This will give us the length of a string. How many characters are within this string? We could assign this to a variable name length equal username dot length or we could display it i'm going to display this with a console.log statement console.log username dot length the length of my name is eight characters but yours will likely be something different let's cover a few more we can get the character of a string at a given index type the name of the string variable dot char at at a set of parentheses Whatever character you would like to return, you will add the index of that character. Computers always start with zero, so the first character in the string would have an index of zero. So maybe I would like to assign this to a variable. Let first letter equal username dot char at index zero. Or you know, I could display it with console dot log and then just add this variable and method within the parentheses. The character at index 0 of my string is B. Then index 1 would be R, 2 would be O. That is the char at method. You can find the index of the first occurrence of a letter. Type the variable name, user name dot index of, then pass in a character you would like to find the first index of. How about O? And then I will display this with console.log. The index of the first occurrence of the character O is at index 2, 0, 1, 2. There's also last index of. Last index of, and we'll keep that as O. The last occurrence of O has an index of 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can also trim spaces before and after a string. So I'm going to display this as it is. And I'll turn these into comments. Okay, console.log, username. And we have all the space that we would like to get rid of. So to do that, we will reassign username with username.trim. This gets rid of any empty spaces before and after any other characters. We could make our string all uppercase, username equals username dot to uppercase. And my name is all uppercase. There is also lowercase. Two lowercase. And all the characters are now lowercase. Okay, here's another. Replace all, but this time let's create a phone number. Let phone number equal, then within a set of quotes, make up some phone number with dashes. 123-456-7890. Okay, using the replace all method, I can replace all given characters with another one. So phone number equals phone number dot replace all. So this has two arguments. The character we would like to replace, add a comma. The second character is what we'll be replacing all of these dashes with. How about a forward slash? And we will display phone number. So here's my phone number. If you would like to eliminate these dashes, then just don't type in anything. And those dashes are gone. So yeah, those are a few useful string properties and methods. If you have a string variable, add a dot, and you have access to a bunch of different properties and methods, a lot of which we didn't cover. But these are just a few of the basics. So yeah, those are some useful string properties and methods. If this video helped you out, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.